So this means changes to architectural patterns. So instead of this three-tier web architecture, it gets to be a lot more complex because now the focus is on the APIs and not necessarily um, whether or not it has a, a, a layered architecture. Let me give you another example. Here at AWS, um, if we were all developers and we wanted to make a new application, what would be the first thing that we would do when we wanted to create a microservice? We would steal stuff, right? Because we're developers. I mean, that's what I would do as a developer. I would go to my GitHub repository or the internal repository and see if there's anything at all that already exists so I can just take that and modify it and get on with my job. But let's pretend we can't do that. Let's pretend we're actually going to have to create something new. Internally, we start with the API definition. And the API definition says, okay, these are the services uh, that we're going to use for the application or the microservice. This is what it's going to achieve. Great. Then we submit that to our API bar raisers. Our API bar raisers are folks that are embedded in all the service teams. They've probably been with AWS a while, and they're going to evaluate our API on scalability and security. And if they give us the thumbs up, we are off to the races. But this is a way that we're creating our address book or phone book of where all of our APIs are so that they are reusable within our internal repository. So APIs are really the front door of your uh, uh, microservice architecture. So we talked about two pizza teams, but stuff did not get real in 2002. In 2002, we got a mandate from Bezos that said, thou shalt have hardened APIs. And he set out the definition of a hardened API with these five tenets. Basically, it was establishing that our internal APIs were going to be following the same standards as an API that we would make public. So the API definition and APIs became uh, the structure of our two pizzas team's uh, responsibilities, as well as um, a hardened front door and SLA of how that microservice was going to talk to all the other microservices. That means um, internally, Every microservice is just a collection of doors. And how we define those doors with throttling and blue-green deployments helps determine our agility of how fast we're going to be releasing code behind that front door.